Hi guys and welcome to the overview of the transmission selector in different Audi models. This is going to be an in-depth look at the transmission itself and the transmission selector. It is an all electronic selection gear, selection lever, so it always returns to the center position no matter what you are in. It always stays the same. And I will explain how to use it and then look at the transmission itself. All the gears are listed here, or the selection gears, park, reverse, net, neutral, and so on. Also in the instrument dials in front of the driver, you can see which mode are you selected in, if it's park, D, or so on. Make sure you have a foot on the brake while you are operating the transmission selector, because otherwise there, it is not possible. Also, in the front of the dial, you will see the notice. In parking position, make sure while you are on incline that you have your electromechanical brake also applied. The selector lever has a very nice shape, so you can rest your arm and control various functions of the Audi, Audi multimedia interface. You press the gear, press the button on the left side of the steering column and put it in D. So now the D shows up in the instrument panel. This mode is also selected uh, dependent on the Audi Drive Select mode while you are in Comfort or Auto. That is, that means a normal driving conditions are used uh, the gears more efficiently. While in Dynamic mode, the transmission holds up the revs higher, and the Dynamic S program is selected. Now, when you put want to put back to D, popping the car into neutral is very simple, just push once and you are in neutral, but this time the vehicle cannot be locked in neutral, you have always to put it in park like so. Then you have also the manual shifting capabilities when you flip the stalk to the right side from the drive and now you can see the manual selection changes the gears up, going down, changes the gears down. Simple as that, also you can use the paddle shifters mounted on the steering wheel. Last but not least, reverse, you pull, push up, the backup camera also appears and now you can reverse. When you are done, all you have to do is push the button, ignition button and the automatically car is selected into parking position and you can leave safely without a problem. Thank you very much for watching and make sure you also check out the second part of this video where I will explain the transmission in the Audi Q7. Now let's talk about the transmission itself. The 8-speed Diptronic is a classic torque converter automatic transmission, whose great comfort lies in its high levels of shifting and drive of comfort. Gear shifts are gentle, spontaneous, fast and highly flexible. Audi uses it in many models with longitudinally mounted engines. Thanks to its 8 gears, the speed and jump in between the RPM are small, and engine is always running near its ideal operating points. An RPM adaptive torsion damper balances out the undesired engine vibrations and enables the efficient driving at extra low engine speeds. This is also possible thanks to a newly designed vibrization system. Also playing a large role in its efficiency is the torque converter lockup clutch with integrated damper. Under normal driving conditions, the lockup torque converter connects the transmission directly to the engine. It works with a limited slip in certain situations, which, in interplay with the integrated damper, permits very low engine speeds without vibrations occurring. If the engine and the car is stationary, an internal clutch decouples the transmission from the engine, even if the D stage is still selected. This avoids losses in the oil circulation in the converter. As soon as the driver releases the brake, the clutch closes and the damping effect of the torque converter ensures a smooth drive off. The dynamic shifting program DSP with the controls D8 speed Toptronic is housed in a very small steel box within the gear shift unit itself. It utilizes a fast processor. In D mode, it shifts automatically to ensure the very high efficiency. However, in a second gear shift gate, the Tronic allows the manual intervention in its automatic transmission operation. 
This allows downshifting. In sport mode, the automatic transmission boosts the driving dynamics by sh setting lighter shift points. The 8-speed Diptronic is also able to work together with the Audi start-stop system. It integrates a small, permanently filled hydraulic reservoir for its purpose. When restarting after a stop, its volume, around 100 mm, is pressurized by a spring-loaded piston, which is necessary for a drive-off. The transmission is ready to start within a very short period of time. For 8-speed Diptronic automatic transmission, ZF set out to design a new and a very different gear set concept. The result is a revolution in transmission design. A transmission concept with only four gear sets, which require only five shift elements, of which only two are open in any given rig gear. The 8HP also requires no more than three multiplace clutches and two brakes, which allow it to achieve a greater degree of efficiency than other concepts. As a result of the fact that only two shift elements are open per gear, Drag losses in the transmission are sustainably reduced. This effect is supported by the use of the new parallel axis vein type oil pump. A torque converter ranges from 300 to 1000 Nm makes the 8HP the perfect partner for all-wheel drive and rear-wheel drive designs. Although the 8HP features two more speed gears than the successful 6HP, the dimensions have remained unchanged and the weight was lost by 3% to 87 kg. At the same time, the total transmission ratio spread of 7.81 ensures that the engine is always in its optimum operating range. Essential success aspects are the high transmission spread and reduction of system pressures in many areas. Another factor in the multi-disc separation of the brakes. Furthermore, advanced torsion and vibration dampers enable a smoother bypassing of hydronamic power transmission and therefore further reduction in speed. Thus, the new 8HP is perfectly prepared for use within the engine varying from 3 to 8 cylinders which will determine the trend of years to come.